Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for checking out this video. Today's topic has me a little bit heated, so I'm just going to dive right in. Men need to learn how to stop talking so damn much. More and more it seems like everyone thinks they're on The Office or fucking Letterkenny and that the only thing that matters is clever one-liners and banter. And I am here to say that that is the farthest thing from what is successful with women, with uh, social circles in general, and with the self. Silence is the key to victory in all three of these arenas. Now, when is the last time anyone heard a woman say, oh, he was such an open book, he just told me all these things about him, and I loved hearing him talk, and it was so sexy. No, never. No one's ever heard that. Women like the sound of their own voice way too much for them to respect a man who can't shut up. I like to take myself out. I sit at the bar, I have a few nice beers, I have a meal, and I do my best to just observe what's going on around me. More and more, this is the scenario that plays out. There's some awkward first date going on, and the guy just will not stop talking. He's literally writing his autobiography on the bar top for this woman, expecting to be able to say something to impress her. There is nothing, she will not ever be impressed. She is too impressed with herself to care about any of the things that he is saying. Women want to talk about themselves, plain and simple. When men, women can tell most men talk a lot on a date because they're nervous, because they're too uncomfortable simply sitting in silence. They're too pussified to have the audacity to think that she should be entertaining me. You are the one who should be dancing for me, clown. It's a privilege to be on a date with me, not the other way around. So when guys talk too much, when they laugh at what is supposed to be funny or a joke that she makes, she knows that it's inauthentic and she will never, ever respect that. Guys on dates like this might get laid, but they will never get fucked. And there's a big difference. If you've ever been fucked, you know. So, expand this out into a broader social perspective. Most people's favorite subject is themselves. And as we move into a more feminized society, even men who... Like, the job of masculinity is to go out and create. And in this sense, we're creating, uh, we're creating social connections. We're creating social interactions. So, most people's favorite topic is themselves. By interjecting with all of this banter and all of these unnecessary topics, we are making these people simply disinterested, uninterested completely. Now, there's a great book, I've mentioned this before, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And there's a reason that it has been a best-selling book for something stupid like 100 years, maybe? Anyway, I'm going to give you the too long didn't read version. Learn to ask questions. Learn to listen to what the response is. And learn to ask follow-up questions to that. Once there's mastery on those three basic things, it will be much easier to interject ways for these people to connect with you. Benjamin Franklin employed something like this. 
as well. He would, he's got a quote or a story or whatever where he would ask his neighbor for a favor. And due to the social contract, that person is looking to be repaid. Now, the favor that we as men are asking people to do is to talk about themselves. Believe it or not, despite the fact that people's favorite topic is themselves, they often do not get an opportunity to talk about it because everyone else is so self-interested as well. So I am doing this person a favor by asking them questions about themselves, by asking to expand on the things that they say. What do you mean by that? What exactly does this mean? You said this, tell me more about that. Now they feel obligated to get repayment from you. And that's where that's where we can decide what our what our payment is going to be. So I just saved you 12 to 18 minutes uh 18 hours of reading. You're welcome. And so that's sort of the 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 social interaction with the other. What about the interaction with self? Now, silence is super important. Again, for the reason of listening. Now, growing up, I lived in a very abusive household. I learned a lot of negative things about myself. Or what I should say is I was taught a lot of negative things about myself. And a lot of those lessons never quite go away. And they play on a loop inside of my head. And anyone else who experiences negative self-talk, unnecessary negative emotion, really low sense of self-worth, they have this, uh, this inner dialogue going on as well. Now, silence allows us to hear that inner dialogue. At first, for me, it was very painful because my inner dialogue was essentially, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck forever. And when you hear that enough, you begin to believe it. Now, what I didn't know at first was that most of those thoughts were not even mine. It was when I actually started listening, it wasn't my voice that was saying those things. It was all the people who had delivered me those negative messages as I was growing up. Understanding that was one of the key points in, in switching from negative thoughts to more positive self-talk. From a, from a victim mentality to an abundance mindset. Understanding that that I am responsible for listening to myself because no one else is going to. So once I started figuring out which thoughts were actually mine, it was easier for me to embody and to act on another uh, premise of masculinity, which is being honest and being truthful. Now, instead of simply reciting things that I had learned, I can respond with honesty and I can respond in what I know to be the best way. And a lot of times that's silence. Not everything requires a response. Not everything requires laughter. Not everything requires banter. So that's all I have to say about that. 
I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Thank you for watching. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. See you soon.